It is packed down here, by the way. It truly is. It really is. Over here in the upper left are Zerg. He is. SK Telecom T1, Sue. This is cool by Sue already, Taste. This is a rather quick drone going out. What's this drone doing? What are you doing, droney? Just checking? Just checking okay. for anything that yeah. might be outside of his base. Looking for be anything crazy safe. and going hatch first. Now, of course, this is a gateway expand, so hatchery first is not going to be punished. Yeah, Nothing cannot. you can really do against it. And uh, so this game should go proceed pretty normally. He is looking out, though, because, of course, he doesn't know it's gateway. Expansion. That's right, yeah. And there are some sneaky cannon rushes you can do on this. In so. fact, he's he's faking out right yeah. now. That's where you would cannon rush, and it's it like forces the another drone to come down. sickest heart palpitation right now. Yeah, like, like, oh, God, no, he's going to do the scanners. So he's actually successfully tricked Sue right now. It's costing into him a lot of drones. minerals. A lot yeah, of minerals a cost lot. Him. You basically lose a mineral for every second that a worker is not mining, so. Well, he continues to fake it out, but as the Overlord gets there, he realizes, oh, okay, this was, this looks like it was a fake all And we have the cybernetic score about halfway done here. And we'll see as that finishes up if he starts a unit or he just goes straight into the Nexus. It should probably just be straight into the Nexus. Man, this is gonna be wild if Sue brings us to the final game. This is going to be like crazy hype. Now, this is uh, a pretty standard build here from Deer right now. This uh, Nexus Expand now. Yeah, it, everything looking very, very normal for him. Grabbing that second gas. He'll be thrown out the pylon at his natural. In the meantime, we get to see from Sue what his plan is. He is getting gas already, so that's probably just going to be for speed. And he's going to want to take his third hatchery relatively soon. And now we have the Mothership Corps coming out here to just control um, this area outside the Protoss' base. Maybe even do a little bit of poking in here with it. And the gateway wall will now come up here shortly so that he has a kind of crowd control there at the entrance. Now, the, ooh, there's actually a couple interesting things going on. First off, this probe is going out, so he's just double checking. He wants to know if there's something weird afoot. And in fact, right now, there's not a third base started. And there's still gas being mined with three drones after speed starts. Wow, this is this is a little bit weird from Sue, and that's what Deer's going to check out. Okay, but he's, it, he, oh man, this is actually really kind of weird. And he did make a stalker, right? So that's gonna actually force back any overlords, which means that he could hide the Stargate a little bit longer. Okay, the still no third base here. for Sue, wow. Yeah, what exactly is Sue doing here? I really thought we were gonna have a third up a little while ago. Um, yeah, he's just making a lot of gas. Now, man. he's also doing a good job here with oh. the, uh, the Ling, just keeping the Mothership Corps from going out too far. I know, what's it gonna be out of the Stargate? An Oracle. And the Overlord's gonna spot it. Oh, he nice knows for sure. In. Yeah, very nice sneaking. Okay, he's actually making spores already. He has a lot of gas, and of course, the two Evos come down. So this is a kind of older style that we saw at the beginning of this year where you get massive circling upgrades and then go into ultra normally really quickly. You don't have to follow up with ultra, but it's a good follow-up as you go towards 2-2. Now, so much of this is going to come down to does Deer secure a third base? Yeah, and that's um, something we'll be seeing pretty shortly. Yeah. Um Void Ray now coming out next. We should see that Oracle come in here and try to do some harass. And yeah, this is going to be a, a really nice transition here for Sue. As Artosa said, a little bit older school. But that's great because I doubt that uh, Deer has a lot of practice with this new age Oracle strat here against Zerg against this specific kind of opener. And when will he scout it exactly? He might already be thinking that's what's going on, especially now that he sees that there's no layer. Whoa! Oh. That was really good micro, but only two kills. Not that much to get that down to 13 health. Yeah. At least he did not lose that. Uh, we have another Void Ray being cranked out, and the Forge has now started. The Void Ray uh, can't really be utilized much more than this. He looks like he will be able to go over to the third and see that that's about to complete. 
That's some good scouting going down. He should basically know yeah, what's going on right not, now. Yeah, there's not like there's not a lot of ambiguity if the Protoss is scouting this like he is now. He should know what's coming. And he is grabbing his Colossus tech. Does kind of jot in here. Okay, so now he knows for sure what's going on. That it has to be double circling upgrades, which means he's gonna have to secure his third base, get a couple of Colossi, and really keep on top of when that hive is going up and exactly what tech is coming. And he actually managed to keep that probe alive. Very nicely done. Uh, so we'll get some cannons and an axis up there. He wants to do that ASAP. Nicely placed cannons, by the way. A decent group of lings on the way down right now. If he can cancel the third base once or twice, that becomes a gigantic lead for Sue. But again, so far, solid defense even warping in over here at that third. I think he learned a lot from, uh, which game was it? Game number two? Uh, where he lost the Nexus several times? Oh, yes, that was uh, game number three. Oh, excuse me, game number three here. Okay, so this is a really nice moment. Getting the cancel. Oh, we got the probe. Oh, this is slowing him down a lot. Now, he did lose several lings there, but he's making a lot more. He wants to do this a few times, and if he can keep on forcing the cancel, then as he goes into Ultra, even though it's kind of low econ Ultra, yeah. The economy of deer is just not there. The road. But one thing I'd really need to point out here is that deer is going double forge against this, realizing that he's behind on upgrades and he's got to catch up. Using this overseer, this is going to have this void rate chase uh, the overseer. But again, that's something that's not necessarily defending this third base. We have a shot up here now. Let's see if those lings can perhaps force a cancel again here. If they do, deer are again going to be in a lot of trouble here. You know, the void rays are great, but they can't kill lings fast. No. So it becomes a real problem. Notice he's hugging the uh, Nexus with the Zealots. Really nice Really placement. nicely done, right? Clicking on that uh, Nexus like that. OK, so he's basically secured that. Map control does go to Sue, though. And in fact, Deer are, he still has his Oracle, which is really nice. He hasn't done that many kills, but he's still gaining value in it. Now, we do have 1-1 one, one about to finish for Protoss. And as that finishes, of course, the upgrades are even. But you've got to like that a little bit more for Zerg. Their upgrades scale a bit better than Protoss because of Plasma Shields. OK, so this Nexus is going to finish, it looks like. And the Spire is on the way. Ooh. OK, all right. This is getting cool. Ultra's Cavern as well. Now, look at the position here of the pylons. Um, and the Zealots here on the Nexus, they can't really get a nice surround. But are there enough lings, in fact, to just take out uh, everything that's over here? Now, now, they do take out the initial defense here. But I think after these warp ins and the Colossi come in here, yeah, they will be able to clean up the rest of this with ease. That was a really good defense by Deer. He had exactly yeah. enough to buy enough time to get home and save everything. So his economy is looking really solid. Hasn't been able to scout exactly what the tech is, but it's kind of obvious. It's not like you're going to go Ling into Viper. <laughs> right. Uh, here is the fourth, almost finished now. Now, Zerg isn't a very critical tech switch here, so that fourth could be vulnerable huh. to a poke if the Protoss decides to go up that way. Now, three more queens are coming out, Tasteless. He already has a group of five out on the map pushing this creep down. That's really going to help out with Ultras, but he's also going into the Greater Spire. And this is huge because he's making exactly one Ultra. So by showing one Ultra and a lot of queens, that is going to make Deer 100% certain, or at least 99% certain, that this is Ultra Link, which yeah, means he's going to make things be, like Immortals. And he's not going to have units that are going to be strong against Broodlords yes. later on. Uh, he will poke in here, take this out, and probably return home. I don't think he would push further than this. Yeah, strong move there. And that's exactly how you want to do it. He just wants to keep the Zerg even uh, on what he's constructing. Um, because Zerg always want to be one to two bases ahead. And here comes this Warp Prism here. Warp Prism could do a lot. It's, uh, there's actually, nothing really up there. could, yeah. He actually has 3-3 three, three started as well, which is a big deal. And as he's actually warping in all these zealots over here Ooh. in the main, he is poking up here uh, and now recrawling back home. Now, he did see that one ultra. Oh, that's really good. Wow. That's really, really good. He could even get the hive after this. That, that would be, would be huge. huge. Oh, man. And he hasn't started his 3-3. Three, three. That is a big deal, Chase. This looks like the hive it's is going to go down lower. once again. Sue needs to save that structure. 3-3 three, three didn't start. 
Oh, he is so far behind now. 3-3. The game will be decided before 3-3 starts, most likely, which means it's going to be 3-3 against 2-2. And now he's just going to go straight into Ultras. He is making some Corruptors as well. Now, are these going to be for Broodlord Ultra? By the way, double expand on the left and the right here. Well, he does have a great creep spread. It is, you know, the economy does go to deer right now, but this type of army that we see right now for Sue yeah. wins open land engagements against the type of army that we actually see from his opponent. Using anything at his disposal to try to buy time here. The Oracle takes out a few drones. Uh, and uh, I actually think the Oracle's still alive in the top center. That was a war prison that was killed off there, but he still hasn't seen the Greater Spire, by the way. So he may yeah. think these corruptors are just to take out, you know, the, the That's few true. void rays. There's nothing really out. suspect about this uh, at all, you know? Well, all right. he's going to come in here for a poke. He looks like he should be able to take that down. He's going to want a time warp out of here, though, or a <laughs> recall out, rather. And that is how you do it. Now back here safely behind uh, this wall of structures. He can hold off attacks for quite some time if it's just a Ling Ultra Army. But again, guys, as Artosa said, the real story is about the Broodlords that are going to be yeah. made up here. Broodlords are uh, so good against everything he has right now. This is this is actually going to be kind of painful when those Broodlords get in there. Zealots and Immortals, they do nothing when Broodlords are out. And with this many Queens, the three Void Rays are not going to be that big a deal. All right, now pushing forward here. The Broodlords are closing in. And this is where the surprise starts to kick in as the unexpected appearance of an air fleet here of Broodlords now pushes down making these Immortals absolutely useless at Time Warp as he attempts to retreat further and further away. But can he get a blink in underneath? Oh, he might be able to. Does he to. have a blink? That oh, no, Colossus he does walks no. through everything. The Queen's actually taking quite a bit, trying to keep these Broodlords alive. Blink not yet done, but he's just walking forward. It looks like Deer, he has too much. And now Deer wipes out that single remaining Broodlord. Sue is in a crisis right now. The army pushing forward here, 150 supply to 122. Sue has to come up with a solution and come up with one fast. This is brutal right now. Deer is mining off of four bases. Still has a very strong army left. He has 3-3, he has his blink upgrade. Everything looking great from even adding in Archons, whereas Sue is just scraping together an army. Yeah, Sue in a really bad spot here. You got to question if it was actually a good idea. Nice. Uh, if it was actually a good idea to uh, move out at that specific moment there. You know, his Broodlords were a bit behind. He did end up losing that battle, but here we go. This could be the last battle of the game, the last battle of the season, Tasteless. Deer starting to break through. So few units left for Sue. Do we have a new Protoss GSL CODES champion? It looks like we do. G-G! And dear!